Ladies and gentlemen, on June 8, 2018 in Cheyenne, Wyoming, the journey began with an eight-man lightweight tournament. Tonight, in Tampa, Florida, we are down to the final two lightweight participants. Our next fight of the night is scheduled for five two-minute rounds for the inaugural Bare Knuckle World Lightweight Championship and the Police Gazette American Bare Knuckle Lightweight Championship. Presented by MyBookie.com. Bet with the best at MyBookie.com. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight he wears black trimmed in red. His official weight, 134.6 pounds. As a bare knuckle professional, he is undefeated at 3-0. Please welcome the UFC veteran from Fort Worth, Texas, Bruno Johnny Bedford. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears black, trimmed in white, and the proud colors of the United States of America. His official weight, 133.2 pounds. He is also undefeated as a bare knuckle professional at 3-0. Fighting out of Chesapeake, Virginia, here is Reggie Easy, Educated Hands Barnett Jr. And our referee in charge of the action, Bill Clancy. Both fighters up to scratch, now backing off to their respective corners. And I really like Bedford. He kept pointing to the center ring, going right here, right here. This is where he wants the fight to be. Toe the line, gentlemen. Now Clancy telling Barnett Jr. and Bedford to toe the line. The ballot round number one and a rapid fire start to the surprise of no one. Rear right uppercut from Barnett. He's in the black and American flag trunks. Black and red trunks for Johnny Bedford. Bedford's trying to work that body right from the beginning. Point to the middle of the cage, ring going right here. And Bedford. Oh! oh. Here's right hand! And down goes Reggie Barnett! He there still looks out it. of it. He still looks out of it. There you have it. One punch. He needs to get on his bike right now. Bedford, a natural born finisher, trying to finish. Barnett, knockdown number two is ruled by Bill Clancy. You ever heard somebody say, fight and have fun in there? Well, Bedford is having fun in there tonight. No three knockdown rule in effect, but perhaps Clancy will not let this go if Barnett goes down a third time in round number one. 65 wow. seconds remaining in the first round. Bedford just pushing the referee out of the way. I want to get in there and finish this fight right now. Man, Bedford means business. This is a guy executing what he knows. Beautiful sight. Good separation from Bill Clancy. Bedford feels he can see the finish line, trying to reach it here in the opening round of this double title fight. But he better respect the power of Barnett because it only takes one shot, just like we've seen tonight. Barnett settling back in after being knocked down twice in round number one, exploding in again is Bedford. Clever turn by Barnett. Into the clinch, there's the half tie plum held by Bedford. Step, step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 seconds remaining in a furious round number one. Ooh. Couple more good right hands, left hands. He's on the right by Barnett. Good second. Bedford playing to the crowd. It's definitely been his round. The Reggie Barnett fighting on. And he will see, and we will see. Round number two. Not as dramatic, knockdown number two is knockdown number one, but correctly ruled a knockdown by Bill Clancy. You can see Bedford landed that right hand repeat on the chief Barnett. It's a round number two, we go. Again, Bedford just pushing Barnett back. And you can tell the, the size difference. I don't know how much cut, I don't know how much cut Bedford did, but he's much bigger, much bigger. I don't think Reggie had to cut much weight at all, and Bedford does, that makes a huge difference in him. 
center of the BKFC ring. Oh, that slowly trying to feel his way into this fight, establish his rhythm, lands well to the inside, back to the out. Still thinking that's a tactical error by Reggie trying to stay and trade punches with him. That's not his game plan, and he can't stick with it. He's got to keep moving. You see the duck under from Bedford, almost clowning Reggie Barnett. Look at the face, look at the head movement. Bedford feeling extremely good about things at the moment. He's, he's calculating. Pointing to the center of the ring again. He's going to fight right there. <laughs> right there. Bedford said, right there. I'm going to control the center of the ring, and look where this fight is on the inner circle, the dead center of the ring. I mean, this guy is a true fighter, man. Johnny Bedford's a bad guy, man. Right hand off the push. 40 seconds remaining, round number two. Barnett trying to work off of the jab from the southpaw stance. Good and right hand by Barnett. Barnett is getting closer. He's either turned the end fighting. Warning for excessive holding by both Lance and Young Beckford. Swallowing under both of Barnett's eyes. Closing stages, round number two. Good He's right landing some big punches against Bedford. Sequence from Barnett. Bedford tying up. Turning. Reggie Barnett having a good comeback round in two. Absolutely. And up next, round three. Good. Knuckle up. Reggie calls knuckle up. Round number three underway. Again, Bedford dropping Barnett twice in round number one. Right, trying to play off of that right jab from the southpaw stance. Left hook from Bedford lands. Right hand from Barnett lands. Both guys doing some good counter punch. And this is where Reggie wants to be countering like this, staying in and out. He can't get the end of those punches. Hand. Reggie keep pulling back. Another big right hand. He keeps pulling back with his head high. Straight back. He's not moving at angles like he was on left and right. Low blow time called by Clancy. It was Like you're saying, when he comes back, he can't back straight out. He's got to move back at angles. That's right. what opens up for more punches for him to land. He wants, he wants Bedford coming after him, throwing overhand rights, well, overhand lefts, and he's not going to be there. Johnny Bedford coming in, landing some big punches right here. Oh, real low blow right there. He was just throwing hard right hands, and one of them got pushed down and hit him over. Yeah, I don't think he did that deliberately. Back in action now. Here. Barnett had five minutes to recover. Took just under a minute. Time in. The three resumes. Bedford, you see the head movement. Straight right hand. And again, there's the playfulness, the clowning, the mockery of Barnett by Bedford. Oh! oh. Johnny Bedford, and again, he is clowning Barnett. Every time it lands a big punch, he wants everybody in the stadium to know. See Barnett talking to Bedford. That was a stumble there. That wouldn't have been a knockdown. Barnett just tangled his feet. And Bedford pointing to the inner circle of the BKFC ring. <laughs> You know what, when you get hit with shots like that, sometimes your equilibrium never comes back, and it don't take but a little touch on the chin to have the same effect. It looked like that was a balance shot or something. It kind of, it looked like I heard him and all, it just looked like it knocked him down. Ten seconds. Three knockdowns recorded by Johnny Bedford in this double title fight versus Reggie Barnett Jr. Closing seconds, third round. We are heading to round four. But he has certainly looked fairly dominant, and indeed utterly dominant in moments in this fight through the opening three rounds, but nobody has won anything yet. And through his opening three fights, three victories for Reggie Barnett Jr., he is shown to be an extremely talented bare-knuckle fighter. But make no mistake, Barnett very much has to play come from behind now. Bedford, historically an MMA and in bare knuckle, guys, has been an outstanding front runner. Bedford is an athlete, man. He's 
Look at that right, right hand. hand. The timing. That's exactly it right there. He's timing it perfect. As soon as one hand comes from Reggie, he's counting with that right hand. It's impeccable right now tonight. Short uppercut. There's a good right hand on the exit from Barnett. Swelling under Bedford's left eye. Barnett's going to have to sit down on one. He can't be running at the same time trying to punch. There's the right jab. Nothing there from Reggie Barnett. And the right jab. And stepping with the right hand of his own. 60 seconds remaining round four. Left the right from Barnett. It looks like there's just a clear difference in power from when each guy lands. Reggie lands, it doesn't seem to do much. But when Johnny lands, it doesn't seem to do an awful lot of it. It just, it, Yeah, I think that is because uh, Beckham is landing more precise. He's hitting him on the butt and on the chin and the temple. And it just don't seem like Barnett has landed anything significant. Oh, real swelling under Barnett's right eye. Bedford complaining to referee Bill Clancy, wanting Barnett to engage. Bedford told me in our fighter meeting he would do that. Good right hand. Quick the punch, stand up. He said, I know Barnett is going to run in circle. I'm going to try to get him to fight in the center of the ring. Closing stages, closing seconds, round number four. The lightweight tournament final. Two title belts at stake. Reggie Barnett Jr. versus Johnny Bedford. Up next, the fifth and final. I like the respect right there, too. That was nice. A really nice moment between these two rivals. It started out very friendly, both fighting on the inaugural BKFC card last year in Wyoming. I think as they drew closer and closer to this final, that's when the animosity began. Fifth and final round underway. Oh. Barnett knows he has to play. Come from behind now. Open up, take chances. We will see how hard Bedford goes for the finish. Certainly he would feel while he's won nothing yet. He is sizably ahead on the three floor to judge his scorecards. But now it's Bedford cut outside of his left brow. If that necessarily matters, it definitely doesn't matter to Johnny Bedford. Good left hand. Uh oh. Barnett picking it up. He's closing the gap this round. And like I said, this is the time you want to take chances. You want to get out there and get a little bit wild. You have to even lose the fight. Big uppercuts from the half tie punt from Bedford. You see Barnett cut outside of his left brow. There's actually a cut that opened in round three, is reopened here in round five. And that right there is it, Bedford's advantage. He looks like any time he wants to, he can get inside and throw it around. Surprised he's not doing that a little bit more often than right See the faint the level change from Bedford. Chance of easy from the Reggie Barnett Jr. supporters here in Tampa, Florida. Barnett on one punch at a time. Gotta put them together. These combinations will get it done. Bedford's left eye rapidly swelling shut. Good shot. With 25 seconds remaining in this fight, it's not going to be a factor. I mean, at this point, Reggie just got in the third. Caution of the win. Just get a ball. There's as many punches in here. I don't care if he opens himself up a little. Yeah, we got to sit down and sit in. I can punch with him. I mean, instead of trying to look for the counter, punch with him. Maybe you can beat him to the punch and hit him with something. He needs something huge right here. Really a full tie punch for Bedford. He knew that was illegal, slowing things down. Final seconds now of this fight. Bedford playing to the crowd. He feels that he has won this fight. He has won this tournament. And he has won these two titles. We shall see. I think body language is an indication. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the scheduled five championship rounds, here are the score totals from our judges at ringside. Daniel Torres and Michael Ross score at about 47-45. Michelle Olney scores about 48-44 to the winner by unanimous decision and your new Bare Knuckle World Lightweight Champion and Police Gazette American Bare Knuckle Lightweight Champion, Brutal Johnny Bedford. The three knockdowns, Chris, taking the
the suspense truly out of the judges' scorecards. Difficult to see it going any other way. Bedford knocking down Barnett Jr. down twice in round one and once in round number three. Johnny Bedford came out like a Texas tornado working that body, going to the head. He survived, but you came out, you're celebrating after those big shots, but you really wanted him in this inner circle. Why was that? I wanted to test him. I knew Reggie Barnett's the second best guy in this division. I had to get in his head. I know he's a good boxer. I wanted to fight in a phone booth. I tried to get him to bring into it. And I'll tell you one thing, that man brought it tonight. I got more respect for Reggie Barnett than I ever had before. Absolutely, but you brought it as well, succeeding again inside the squared circle. Johnny, why has your fight game transitioned so well from MMA to bare knuckle? Honestly, I'm just tougher than everyone else. <laughs> well put, well put. Hey, you accomplished a lot in the sport of MMA. You've been involved in combat sports for over 30 years. However, now you are a bare knuckle fighting champion. How satisfying is that? I said it from the beginning when bare knuckle fighting came along. I will be the face of this division and I will be a world champion. I get to wake up tomorrow morning. I get to take this back to my kids. And daddy did it. World champion. Enjoy it. Well done. Johnny Bedford, everyone. Sean, back to you.